Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, square BFDE fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this segment uh, AD is uh, 7 units whereas this segment uh, DC is uh, 14 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded square BFDE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow square BFDE since all these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal. So therefore, I'm going to label uh, all these sides. This side is lowercase a, this side is lowercase a, lowercase a, and uh, lowercase a across the board. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow square, therefore, let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of the square is a. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow square is going to be a square. So therefore, the yellow square area is going to be a square. And now our task is to find the value of uh, a square. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, hypotenuse uh, AC of this uh, right triangle. This hypotenuse AC is going to be equal to the sum of this segment uh, AD and this segment uh, CD. This segment is 7 and this segment is 14. So if we're going to add them, that's going to give us uh, 21 uh, units. So therefore, our hypotenuse AC turns out to be 21 uh, units. And since we are dealing with this uh, square, so therefore, uh, this angle uh, AED is going to be 90 degrees. And likewise, uh, this angle uh, CFD is going to be 90 degrees as well. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha, and we know this is our 90 degree angle, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle ABC. This angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And finally, in this uh, right triangle uh, CFD, this angle is beta, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle is going to be our angle alpha. And by the way, this angle alpha and this uh, angle alpha are also called uh, the corresponding uh, angles. And likewise, this angle beta and this beta are corresponding uh, angles uh, as well, and they are congruent. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, smaller right triangle uh, AED is going to be similar to this uh, bigger right triangle uh, ABC according to angle angle similarity theorem and now let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, side uh, bc of this uh, right triangle abc as uh, x and this uh, side uh, ab i'm going to label is as uh, y and now since uh, these uh, two triangles are similar so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of uh, this uh, side uh, AD and uh, this uh, segment uh, AD is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, side uh, BC and uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, AC. So therefore, I can write down the ratio of uh, ED and uh, AD is going to be equal to BC and uh, a c and now we can see our ed length uh, is uh, lowercase a so therefore i'm going to replace this one by lowercase a our ad segment uh, 
length uh, is uh, 7 so therefore I'm going to replace this AD by 7 and this uh, whole uh, side uh, BC is uh, X so therefore I'm going to replace this BC by X and finally this high party news uh, AC is uh, 21 units so therefore I'm going to replace this one by 21 over here so therefore I can write uh, A divided by 7 equals to X divided by 21 let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore we can write uh, 7 X uh, equals to 21 times A let's divide both sides by 7 to isolate X this 7 and 7 is gone so therefore our X value turns out to be 3 times uh, A so therefore we can see that this uh, X uh, equals to 3 times uh, A in other words uh, this whole uh, BC side length uh, is uh, 3 times uh, A and we know that this uh, BF length uh, is uh, lowercase a so therefore this remaining uh, FC length is going to be 3a minus a is going to give us uh, 2 times a so therefore our this uh, FC segment length uh, turns out to be 2 times a and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle FCD whose uh, side lengths are a 2 times a and uh, 14 and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, a and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our longest leg uh, the hypotenuse is uh, 14 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 2a whole uh, square plus uh, a square equal to 14 whole uh, square let's simplify that's going to give us uh, 4 a square plus a square equal to 196 let's combine the like terms on the left hand side that is going to give us uh, 5 a square equal to 196 let's divide both sides by 5 to isolate a square this 5 and 5 is gone so therefore our a square value turns out to be 196 uh, divided by 5 and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, yellow square area is uh, a square and here we figured out a square value as 196 uh, divided by 5 so therefore we conclude that this uh, yellow square area is going to be 196 uh, divided by 5 square units and if we put in a decimal form that is going to be equal to 39.2 square units so thus the area of this uh, yellow square bfde turns out to be 39.2 square units and that's our final answer and thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye